They need their ass beat. Uh, <laughs> what is this, bro? I want you to go first now. <laughs> hey, I got this. Uh, you know, uh, damn, what's the chick name? Breezy, breeze, something Breezo. She from All Americans, the show. No, not the same. The Dyke. Uh, what else she was on? She was on Empire. I uh, seen Empire? a little bit of it. Anyway, she like a. She like an actress and she new music now. Okay. She kind of she's pretty corny. She's kind of she's a she's a lame. Let me see. This video, bro. <laughs> so she doing this do shit now, where she's like doing an R and B as a as a man called Miz. So she's like cause she dressing up as a dude. It went viral because they were saying she looked like bruh from a uh, smart guy, <laughs> uh, Jason Weaver. She was they were saying yeah. she like Jason Weaver. Now. She got from a the fresh prince feed. Yeah, from the clip, the song sound decent, but I'm giving her they need their ass beat because she played the song in the clip and it sounded decent, but when the song came out, the song was completely ass. So I'm giving you they need I'm giving her they need their ass beat for cosplaying as the nigga from Cameo <laughs> and then dropping a song making me think it's gonna be hard and then it was ass. Yeah. But let me know if you think the song is hard from All the clip right. from the clip. Oh, how I get on in 1942, girl. You know, and you can't tell me nothing. Never want to hear you say I had enough. Your body's next door. Sound alright. Yeah, sound alright. You got some potential, but the song is completely garbage. Um, I can believe it, but why the fuck is she making that? Like, I'm not even gonna <laughs> ask about that. Is that that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's all like why she dressed like a nigga. Yeah, I don't know, man. Another they need to ask me. I got that. I got CM Punk getting my wrestling bag. CM Punk, you need your ass beat. Tony Khan, you need your ass beat also. Uh, Jungle Boy, you need your ass beat also. All three of y'all, y'all need your ass beat. So recently, CM Punk was fired from AEW mm -hmm. for his getting into an altercation with Jungle Boy backstage at a at a pay-per-view they did in London called I think it was called All In or some shit like that pay-per-view is ass I'm giving it to CM Punk because CM Punk is a cancer to the wrestling industry mm. he's no long he's no longer good in the ring he's terrible in the ring but he tries to dictate everything he go every everywhere he goes he think he that guy he's not that guy anymore and I also going to give the they need their ass beat to Tony Khan because this is your problem you let CM Punk come in he gave him all kind of all kind of uh, passes. He got into a, a altercation with the EVPs last time. Beat them up. Mm. Got suspended. Him his his homie got suspended also. Uh, what's dude name? A Steel got suspended. Not only did they hire CM Punk back, they and they hired his homie back too. Gave his homie back pay. But the time he missed while suspended, I think they missed like a couple months, like four months or something like that. Gave him back pay for that. Gave CM Punk back pay. Let him let him come back. Gave him his own show on Saturday. The show is called Collision. That shit will be canceled by. I think that show will be canceled by Christmas. Cancel That's crazy. You know how they say cancel Christmas? Yeah. Cancel Christmas on Collision. Because college. Because <laughs> college football back. That shit is on Saturday at 8 p.m. That shit is getting canceled. That's time, yeah. Yeah, because the draw of the show is CM Punk, he's no longer there. Yeah. They gave him his own show because they was too pussy to tell him to fall back because he's on the other show with the EVPs, with the other dudes that he fought. So they gave him his own show, so he ain't got to be on a show with them because that's how pussy is. In the WWE, if you fight somebody in the back, you're not going to get your own show. You're getting fired. Right, right. So they gave him his own show. They just let him run around like he Pac, and they shocked that he went in the back and fought somebody because he fought somebody before and got his job back. His homie got a raise. So, yeah, he's right. like, oh, I could beat motherfuckers up backstage. Yeah. That's the issue. Then they did that. And then Tony Khan going to hop on fucking Dynamite Thomas him, Or it was a collision. He told him oh, I fired CM Punk because I feared. I never feared for my life before. You're nah, a bitch. You're corny. That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> what is CM Punk going to do? Kill you? You yeah, like CM Punk was back there with a the fire. You're not going to kill you. So everybody AEW AEW is just a terrible show. Yeah, I keep hearing that. 
It's, it's really bad. It's like it's like the bottom of the barrel wrestling. So I'll, start your own network, bro. Start my own. Yeah. I might, bro. Let's do nigga wrestling. That's crazy. <laughs> That's actually no. Oh, uh, I got this nigga <laughs> DeAndre Ayton, bro. Are you familiar with her game footage? Nah. Uh, yeah, she in she in the she in the game too. She got some game footage. Uh, Cat Leah. Okay. She's a porn star. So I'm uh, salute the salute him. He got a he, he a young nigga. He got money. All right. Of course, yeah, yeah. Smash smash on the porn star. Nothing wrong with that. Now this is egregious to be out with the porn star, letting her film you, and you're a hot nigga, hot combing her hair. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nigga combing her hair, bro, and he letting her film him. Yeah. Nah, that's 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 that's, that's fatherless behavior right there. Yeah. yeah. Nasty. Yeah, you're wild and big time. Yeah, I'm gonna skip some of these these lame ass niggas. Yeah, he a, he a, he a super lame here. Yeah. That nigga corny. Uh, I got this nigga, man. This nigga talking about something. He had uh, he had no microwave in his hotel, so he put some um, White House burgers on the iron on a towel. Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> bruh! First of all, that towel been up a million niggas' asses. <laughs> 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 hey, you that got that on your true. burger. Yeah. I got that cop we talked about him earlier. Yeah. This one right here, I'm gonna wait till next week because this this is like ten minutes. Okay. This nigga with his uh Camaro. Yeah, we're gonna do that next week. It, it, it'll be too long to uh, break that down. All right. I got this nigga, he was in court with YSL. Yeah. And the nigga, <laughs> I guess he's trying to plead insanity. Good. It's a show, Judge. Oh, it is? Yes. Okay. Well, I ain't Judge Glamble, and I don't play, so stop showing out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Mr. Jimenez, uh, you want to tell your client to get a grip on himself? So this nigga been doing this like the whole court. Apparently, uh, young thug lawyer said, hey, man, I don't want him a part of this case, though, boy. So separate, separate him from young thug. But yeah. That's that's funny as hell, bro. And y'all talking, nigga, yeah. Gunner, Gunner, you did the right thing. You got the fuck up out of there. And you dropped a good album so we can overlook a lot of it. Yeah. All right, it's on you. All right, go ahead. Uh, we got this light-skinned nigga. And I just want to want y'all to see how many other white you know, demographic my man was hollering at. Before I went to bed last night, I put up 100 shots. Nothing crazy either, just routine, working on my craft, trying to get better. I get these shots up at night because it's easy. Number one, I'm not even worried about a reply. And I'm focused on my form because that's what matters the most. Not if you make them. Who cares how many shots I make? It's more about, am I taking good shots? A lot of y'all had this mindset where you shoot one or two times and then you stop shooting. I shoot three shots in three seconds. I get these shots off so quick, it's like defenders don't even have time. And I see y'all's comments, oh, aren't you afraid you're gonna miss? Let me tell y'all something. There's no such thing as a missed shot, okay? You either make the bucket or you learn. If I'm learning what I did wrong, I'm not missing, I'm gaining. You think I wanna shoot all these shots? No, I don't do it for personal reasons. I do it because I wanna get better. I literally have a girl. I could be chilling with her, but I'm still in the gym, getting up shots every day because I have love for the game. That's passion. And you know what the best part is? You wake up and you realize you hit a few. As long as I make one, I feel like I'm shooting 100%. All right, you're saying a whole bunch of nothing. That's a technique, though, right? Uh, well, I mean, he, he's just shooting at nothing but white women. Yes. But the technique was, like, back in the day, wasn't it, like, just get go, through all, go through every woman? Like, even if you don't, you just go through it, just, like. Which is kind of dangerous because you might fuck around and hit your cousin. All right. <laughs> you might. <laughs> you was wild. No, I didn't say I did that. I but I'm just a, saying, hey, like, hey, hey. imagine, like, it's every girl listening in Jacksonville Damn. and yeah. you just going through. You might actually hit your cousin or something like right. that. And she think you're a weirdo because niggas just, like, just blindly just hit everybody. Yeah. And whatever, and whatever girls hit you back, you go through that. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. That, was, that used to be the technique, but. He's hitting but nothing, nothing but white women. The reason I never did it, because I was like, first of all, I never really did fuck with a date and ass like that, but I was like, I might hit like a, a cousin or something like a, somebody <laughs> like a home, you might hit a home girl. Yeah, yeah. The home girl was like, oh, you trying to talk to me? Like, no. 
All right, what's your next one? Um, my next one is this fucking coach. The coach punched the kid in the stomach, man. Oh. Oh, that's my real nigga of the week. Oh, you out. <laughs> Fly's gonna come beat your ass. That's crazy. Oh, Deion Fly's Sanders. dropped a hell of a promo uh, behind that shit. On this? Yeah. I'll add it if I find it. Uh, real quick. Fuck nigga, go join the army. <laughs> really? He probably can't. He probably is. He too old. What is the nigga? It seems like Ply only dropped Pop Warner videos now. <laughs> he only talk about Pop Warner football. That's funny. Yeah, he need to be the coach of a team. Oh, yeah, Deion Sanders, real nigga of the week. I forgot to mention him. Oh, yeah. Him, Shador, Travis Hunter. Yeah, they went crazy. Man, coach. Colorado, like, yo, shout out to them boys for real. Yeah, shout out my. Uh, that's not. That's not. What? Let's keep going. Oh. Uh, shout out to Gators. Did y'all win Come this? On, bro. Y'all what won? Are you doing? Y'all didn't win? What oh, are okay. you doing? What about Clemson? Did they win? What are you doing right now? Hey, y'all nigga, y'all niggas from the uh the U, y'all happy. Like we won, but y'all niggas play ITT tech. That shit don't count. <laughs> <laughs> niggas play little niggas. Oh yeah, my last one is uh my last real nigga of the week. I mean uh, they need their ass beat. Is that family that held a funeral in their house? Oh, uh, let's play that. So I'm riding with my mom and she said that we about to go to a funeral that's at somebody's house. Where the body at? In the house, goddammit. This old school shit. Okay. Down south shit, girl. Mom, is this really, mom, mom, is this really a funeral? Yeah, yeah motherfucker. Is. What the fuck you mean? This Brittany Hill shit. Yeah. yeah. Brittany Hill's Brittany motherfucking Hill. shit. So the body is here. The body is here to when? 11 o'clock to Tonight. tomorrow. No, tomorrow? in the morning. Tomorrow. And, and then, then we go to Brittany Hill Church. Yeah, we go to the service. For the service. I want to see the body. Don't see it, dummy. Go ahead. Is yeah. the body really in the house? Oh, come on. Look through the fucking glass. Look at my nigga Jake Strange, man. <laughs> uh, you got poor Loco. You know, I like this shit right here. <laughs> you want a cigarette, man? Oh. Gotta have a new for it, nigga. This is legal? Yes. Yeah. If you own your property, you can get buried on your land. You and we buried, back buried back here? Yeah. He's getting we'll buried in one of these spots back here. Well, they got this shit his clear, property. Huh? Like That's his cat. What time is the funeral over? Tomorrow. It's 6 o'clock. It's over tomorrow. And I already know don't nobody else live in the house. They probably don't even own it. This is... So this is a funeral and a repast. All of that. Not tomorrow. We have a uh, service on Brick nah, Hill right here. He owned that shit. I'm about to say, nigga, a nigga can't own this house? Yeah, nah, that nigga owned that shit. Yeah, he owned that bit, but I hope, nigga, they, the whoever <laughs> gonna play the taxes on that motherfucker. Bro, I hope they don't sell or at least that motherfucker. Keep that shit in your family. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, that's crazy. I don't think you can bear it. Nah, Florida, you gotta. They don't even you give you the option. Yeah, you yeah, can't do that man, shit. That's crazy. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Uh, this one from Tim. He said, "Some nigga had tweeted as of today, Colorado. Colorado. I can't ever say that shit right. Colorado this nigga about to is an H. Chill out, man. <laughs> it's an HBCU, and we all went there. I don't know about all that, my nigga. Goofy ass nigga. Colorado, blavity nigga. Boy, stop. That shit ain't no HBCU, nigga. Y'all niggas lame. Uh, this one from Vince uh, twenty three. An Illinois man is facing bank robbery charges after allegedly entering a bank without a disguise, leaving and returning, wearing fake dreadlocks, and to rob the place. Nigga legit had on the same feet. Nigga, that, Damn, is that banks? <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't think to take the vest off, nigga. They still would have knew he was him, even with the vest on. Right. Nigga just, he did change his pants. That was it. And his shoes. He changed his shoes too. Yeah. And nigga Winnie the pool out there. Nigga, <laughs> nigga naked from the waist down outside. But he's like, I'm gonna keep this vest on. <laughs> that nigga was wildin'. He did change the hat also. Yeah, he just, he, he, it looked like he put on black to navy blue. Yeah, you ain't changed the right thing, you dumbass nigga. All right, this one from Rand. This nigga. All right, bro. What's going on here? Nigga, he put a bottle up his ass. <laughs> Look what he's 
put in the bottle at? I don't want to ever be that bad, man. Bruh. To put a nigga put a. I guess he didn't. Guess he didn't drink the whole bottle because the bottles do be about fifty dollars in the club sometimes. Bruh. I ain't giving. I, I just don't want to ever be that bad. It reminded me of this shit right here. You ever see the picture? And the nigga just he sat on. <laughs> nigga sat on a Hennessy bottle. Told him anything is possible. That's crazy. That Henny, that uh Henny thing is possible era was probably the worst era yeah, of Twitter. It was, it was disgusting. It was the green. That was the green ass nigga. Y'all niggas was drinking nasty ass Hennessy. Y'all know how I feel about man. Hennessy. Hennessy disgusting, man. Until you drink that shit. Until I drink, I've drank Hennessy plenty I mean, of times. Consistently. Yeah, yeah. You don't like anything consistently. I don't never have a hangover on Hennessy. I don't never have like. No, like that, that shit. I can hold my liquor well, but I done been very fucked up on Hennessy as of late, and I ain't, I ain't, I ain't threw up or none of that shit. I don't even feel like you know I got to the room. Don't be spinning, nigga. I fuck with Hennessy. Now. First of all, it's nasty. So yeah, you just you force yourself to like it. I mean, yeah, consistency is key. Yeah, nigga, you consistently drunk nasty shit. Now you like it. You just force yourself to like it. Um, the Talladega Knights got these niggas. They was in the club. This is why I don't like. I hate club culture. Bunch of niggas just in the club pouring out liquor. And one of them niggas, that big nigga, he pouring out some brown, bro. That shit like that shit like sweet tea. <laughs> that didn't even look like liquor. Yeah, I getting finessed because the club owners, they just about to take those bottles and put some shit in there and just sell it back to y'all dumb asses. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's, club culture is like one of the dumbest shits ever. I, I'll let y'all have it. It's some young... I feel like it's young niggas shit, but I just think clubs are the stupidest shit ever. Uh, I don't know. I like to go out there and get them, you know, get my meat rubbed. Mm. Nah. Niggas do yeah, motherfuckers be dancing like that in their clothes? I don't know. I ain't been in a long time now. Oh. I be in the bars now. All right. Is this, this, this on me? Uh, I think so. Yeah, go ahead. You gonna read it? I think it's Talladega Nights. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I think it is. Uh, I think it is. Uh. All right. Florida woman made an obituary for her baby daddy who's still alive for being a fuck nigga. All right. He's still alive, but he's a fuck nigga. So she made him yeah, obituary. Yeah, this gives you the deadbeat being cause of death being a fuck nigga. Yeah, take your rest, baby daddy. I, I got, got it from it. here. I know you. I know you would have just wanted to wanted make sure to make duty sure. know how strong you were. I need you, but God needed you more. I'll never forget all the memories. Well, that's crazy. Service will be in hell Saturday at 10 a.m. So it must be out of man. Yeah, that's a little, that's a little extreme. If he a dead be dead, then I guess, I don't know. But, yeah, that's that's a lot. Because I already know if bruh dies, she's going to be the first one crying. Yeah. Oh, not this nigga again. Uh, do we need to play the video? Uh, I, no, no. It say this one from King. It say Batman Kevo got Donald Trump mugshot tattooed. Uh, nah, we. I'm. I'm not playing that one. That silly nigga.